take the choke half out, turn it on, throttle lock. All right, let's give it a go. Right, well, uh, it's a beautiful day. It's like uh, January the 2nd, and unfortunately I couldn't find anybody to come with me to help me with this. So I've come out here with my truck, unloaded the four-wheeler, and um, there you go. Put the chainsaw on board, and the uh, next thing to do is to get it warmed up, then go find a tree. And uh, what we're going to do is start with small trees, ones we don't mind falling on us if they go the wrong way and uh, take it from there. Okay, let's go. All right, now, because I'm trapped on the, on the, on the four-wheeler, this has been the easiest way that I've found to do this. It's by having the chainsaw here. So we go through the same procedure as I have before. Okay, um, we've tried it in the garage and the chainsaw seems to work. Uh, test now is, is it going to work in the forest? And uh, the way I've been doing it is I drive alongside a tree, so it's on my left, and then I swing around and uh, put my feet on the floor. Now I know that not every paraplegic can use his feet, and uh, so I'm blessed, but uh, I'm making the most of these feet. That allows me to chop the tree down at this height, so you get number one cut up here, and hopefully control the tree, and then get onto this little chair and do a second cut lower down which is where you would want to have it done. So uh, obviously safety first. I've got my glasses, got my gloves. I've got uh, a first aid kit here uh, from Walgreens. Uh, I think I've got like three left, but these are flexible bandages, so uh, they might come in handy. And I've got some earplugs as well. All right, let's get some trees felled. That was part one. Now we gotta do part two.
Okay. There you go, not pretty but not bad and uh, uh, what can I say, alright I'm going to chop down a few more and uh, hopefully before the light goes, alright. Okay, found another tree, here it is, so I'm stopping right next to the tree. Okay, now we have a situation. Okay, I got the uh, I got the chainsaw stuck in the tree. All right, let's go home. Battery on the camera is dead. Good fun. All right, one last thing. Seriously, you've got to be an idiot to do this. Don't mess with chainsaws, especially if you're handicapped. Okay, on a serious note, you've got to be an idiot to do this. Uh, don't do it. It's not worth it. Get somebody else who can. All right, back at home now, safe and sound. Uh, had a little bit of a problem there. Chainsaw got stuck in the tree. Had to pull the tree away with my four-wheeler. Um, battery on the camera died. So, uh, what I was trying to say is, um, you've got to be fairly capable, if you are a paraplegic, to use one of these. And you've also got to be a freaking idiot. And I don't know why, I don't know why anybody would want to do this. I think what it is, is that we don't, like, we don't like relying on other people saying, hey, excuse me, can you cut this tree down for me? Uh, it feels good if we can try and do stuff like this ourselves. And um, I tell you what, I, I had a blast doing this, but you just gotta be really careful. So uh, if you're gonna have a go with a chainsaw, don't, don't do it, it's not worth it. But if you really want to have a go, then just be really, really careful. And um, that's it, it's a lot of fun. All right, thanks a lot, see you later, bye-bye.